Hello everyone, this is Amit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Apache Spark. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about data frames. So in the previous video, I talked about how we can create a RDD, right, in multiple ways. So in this video, we'll be exploring the different methods to create a data frame. So let's begin, guys. I've already opened up my Spark shell, right? So I'll be working in a Scala today. So first of all, I'll be importing an important package, which is spark dot implicit all right it is important as we'll be converting the rdd to a data frame so for this it is important so first of all let me create a data for this spectacle so i'm making use of sequence all right i'm taking it as string data team and matches all right done so then i'm having a data actual data sequence india i'm taking matches maybe 300 similarly i'm having second country australia and matches as 280 all right and then i'm having england in which i'm taking it as maybe 275 all right it's done guys i'm having my data ready okay i got the issue here all right i hope it's fine now all right done guys so i'm having my data ready so let's explore the first one first method before we uh, jump to the first method let's create a rdd out of it guys from data we have to create a rdd it's a collection we all know for collection we have to use the parallelize method. So let's create RDD first. BL RDD equal to spark dot spark context dot parallelize, right? We all have done this in the last video. So done. So I got my RDD created. So let me clear my screen and let's begin with my first method, guys, which is 2DF. So BL df1 equal to rdd to 2 df 2 df means two data frame okay so it will convert your rdd to a data frame guys but in this case you not be getting any column names that's why i'm getting underscore one and underscore two i can show you if i go with df1 dot show it will uh, show me the data but the column names will be underscore one and underscore two respectively all right this is the point you can see so what i'll be doing i'll be giving a name now here i'm giving team matches all right let's see now df1.show it's now showing team and matches as my column names all right so we have made use of first method successfully 2df so guys, now next method is create data frame. So VAL df2 equal to spark dot create data frame. So for this input data will be my RDD and to df to data frame. I'll be passing COL. All right. Then I'm having this. So I'm already have the COL data available. So you can see df2 dot show. I got my second data frame ready guys. It's working. Third method for creating a data frame is to make use of CSV file. So VAL df3, I'm already having one sample CSV file available in my system, in my home location. Spark dot read dot CSV. Its name is customer. So it's available in my home Amrit location. Customer dot CSV. All right. Let's see. You can see if I go with df3 dot show, it will print the data frame. All right. It's there. So guys, we have made use of three methods successfully. Let's move further. Next one is creating a data frame from a JSON file. So the syntax remains same. Instead of df3, I'm keeping it as df4. And instead of csv, I'm taking it as json. 
and here it is home amrit zip.json it's sample file i'm having in my system json all right let's see guys it's working so i can show you it will be a huge data although but it's reading a json file right successfully you can see so you can also uh, if you want to see its schema you can see with print schema command guys print schema all right let's see you can see this is the schema of my json file so it means it's successfully reading that file all right so the last one coming up reading a data from a text file guys so instead of this i'm using now t text here i'm having a sample file available which is double a dot txt done so df five dot show guys it's working right so guys i've made use of these methods i hope uh, everything got clear if you have any doubt guys anything is not clear please comment on my video and let me know how you find it right thanks for watching guys see you next video